Christian Prince on uh, on three points, which he got badly smoked on. Uh, the first point, uh, his perversions. And Just for a piece of Christ, guys, to everyone. This is Osama Abdullah, and he right away the Muslims they start saying they debate me and they smoke me. Well, you know what? If the debate was a smoke to me, why you have to? Why you need to make 100 video to explain what happened in that debate? If it was a victory anyway, and if it is a victory, who is stopping you from coming to me again and debate me again to have more victory? You coward, potato. Now, let us see what he is saying here. The video is simply he made a lot of videos to explain each time he debate me why he got humiliated. Why he lost? Like those Muslims are the same one uh, who, who do gambling. Uh, they try to answer me in their audio, but the fact that each time they do it, they prove me right. Listen carefully. The twisting of King David's uh, story in the Noble Quran and how he tried to lie uh, by saying that Allah Almighty allowed for Muslims to marry basically goats. Okay, I tried to lie saying that Allah he allowed Muslims to marry goats. Well, let us see. The story of David is in the Quran. Did David say, my brother, he have 99 goats and I have one? Here we go. I'm not the one who's going to explain it. This is a chapter 38, verse number 23, as you see in the front of your eyes. Here we go. And this is your Muslim Jalalain explanation. He is saying there that my brother uh, have 99 uwi, uh, 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 which means women, present women. Here we go. He used to present women. So you Muslims, you, even your women is a goat. Even your women, the Quran calling women wives as goats. So when you say to me, oh, it does not say that, you are a liar. Now, in here, yes, it's present to women, but present goat at the same time. Because goats and women in Islam is equal and the same. And let us prove that. He said in his audio that I got this from an article. What article, you liar? This is Sahih Muslim. This is what our debate was about. Sahih Muslim Hadith number 525, the book of menstruation. Read with me, guys. Here we go. This is the explanation of the Hadith. If the Hadith about not, it's not about Muhammad having sex with a, with a, with a goat, the Hadith says that his, the Prophet, he put it between her four legs. Look how filthy the Prophet is. Why a Prophet of God, he would say he put his penis between her four legs? Four legs of who? Have you ever heard about a woman, she have four legs? The Muslim, they say those are four legs of a vagina. I never heard about a vagina have four legs. But anyway, let us assume that this vagina of a Muslim woman is different, have four legs. Why the hadith explanation is saying this? This is the explanation of the hadith made by the, the, the Muslims, the mullahs themselves. Our companion have said that if the penal head has penetrated a woman anus or a man anus or an animal vagina, it is anus. Then it's necessary to wash whether the one being penetrated is alive or dead, young or old. You have to wash if you put your penis in. Women anus, men anus, even men anus, brother, mashallah, brother, or animal vagina or its anus. If it is haram for you to have sex with animal vagina or anus, why he is teaching you to wash your penis after you have sex with it? Dead or Young or alive? Alive or dead? You Muslims, you have sex with dead men and dead goats? As you see, all what the Quran here is about, is about washing. Washing. You know, if it, which one is more important? Do you think I should say to a Christian man, if you rape a woman, you have to do wash your penis after that? This is the important now. The man, he just rape a woman. If raping a woman anyway is, is going to take him to hell, who care about washing his penis to, to pray to God? This is what God is worried about, washing your penis before you pray to me? What about having sex with a donkey? That is not going to, be, to bother Allah? It's very clear, it doesn't bother. In the same time, if we go down in the hadith to the end of it, we will see. If a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash. And if she insert a detached penis, dhakran maktuan, the most accurate of the two opening, she must wash. So what is important is not your wife having sex with a donkey, cutting the penis of a donkey, dead or alive. No, it's about washing her vagina. If it is unlawful anyway, why you are teaching your wife to, or your women to wash their vagina after having sex with animals? Detached penis of an animal penis? 
Uh, that explains a lot of things. This is the website of the government of Saudi Arabia. And uh, Osama, he said himself that Saudi are a bunch of pigs, idiots. And he forgot that his prophet is one of them. But anyway, this is the book of Al Ibn Qudama, Kitab al Hajj, the book of Pilgrims of Hajj, and Hadith number 2387. He said there is no difference between having sex in the front or in the anus to a human or a, to an animal. And this is what I agree with a Shafi'i. A Shafi'i is one of the biggest, 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 big deal imam for the Sunni. The Sunni have four schools. Any Sunni in the world have to belong to one of them. It's a must. And a Shafi'i agree with that. And Abu Thawr agree with that. And Abu Hanifa agree with that. And Malik agree with that. Agree about what? He said, And regardless of this issue, that having sex with an animal will not destroy or will stop or disturb your hajj, which means your hajj will be valid even if you have sex with an animal. And this is the page number and this is the book name. I can show it to you from Al-Qurtabi, Al-Tabari, Al-Tabara, anything you want, all over Islamic books. 